Hi everybody, this is B3Net Games and this is my 4.7.5 version of the tutorial how to make projectiles destroy destructible meshes. So first of all, we'll want to open a first person template. This is the standard shooter template. Now go to first person BP and hit the down arrow, go to meshes and cube mesh. So right click on cube mesh create destructible mesh and we will drag that into the scene or I should say level um, we'll scale this to 4x, 4y, 4z and set that on the floor now um, we will check simulate physics uncheck start awake um, check simulate simulation generates hit events um, we will set the collision presets to physics actor um, and that will be it for details now right click on cube mesh underscore DM edit now we will set some values here. So damage threshold 1200, damage spread. I'm just going to set to zero. I'll um, make another tutorial that covers this more. This is based on what you, what your needs are. Um, this will get you started. Enable impact damage. 0 0.407 8 I'll set this I'll set default impact damage to default impact damage depth to one and fracture mesh just to see what it looks like and then save and now we'll go to blueprints first person projectile this is where a lot of stuff has changed in four point seven point five after you right click first person projectile click edit now up at components in the top right click on collision component we will check simulate physics and the rest of this is fine go to sphere and we will check simulate physics and where uh, collision presets is under collision we will make this a physics actor okay now go to projectile and this is fine so we'll compile this save it and if all goes well, Kaplawi, there we go. So I hope this was helpful to a lot of people. Um, I was having a lot of comments on the 4.2 version, and I think I covered all the changes in 4.7.5. If you have any questions or if you're having any, any problems, feel free to, to comment, and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Have a good day, everybody. And I will see you next time. Stay tuned.